The World Health Organization is calling for $56 million to fight the next front in the Zika outbreak. CCTV special contributor James Chow spoke exclusively with the head of WHO at its headquarters in Geneva. Dr. Margaret Chan says the biggest victims will be the poor and warn pregnant women again to think twice before traveling to the affected areas. You advise women who are pregnant, women who are trying to get pregnant, to avoid travel to areas where there are known local active transmissions. As your investigation continues, are you also discovering other group at risk? There is a possible uh, association between sicker infection during pregnancy can lead to uh, neurological uh, abnormalities like gail barre syndrome or microcephaly uh, in newborns. Now, that's why we advise women who have a choice uh, to travel uh, or not to travel to these areas. We advise both men and women, uh, you know, to take due precaution, to practice safe sex. The outbreak is currently concentrated in Brazil, which in six short months from now will host the Summer Olympics. What do you say to the athletes and coaches who are calling for a boycott? James, you know, uh, the anxiety is understandable, but we must recognize that the government is working very hard uh, pulling out all the stops. Uh, Dabi Cho is working with the International Olympic Committee and Brazil is also working with them to look at what are the appropriate measures we could put in place to ensure that visitors and athletes have a you know, safe and enjoyable Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro. The reality is that Zika is not going to affect people who live in luxury apartments, who are protected by mosquito screens, but the poorest of the poor who live in slums where all kinds of vectors breed, mosquitoes, rats and so on. Apart from treatment, what must health leaders do? The relationship between illness and poverty is very clear and it has been demonstrated again and again. So as leaders of countries, they need to invest in people, making sure they have decent uh, uh, environment to live in, making sure that the leaders also invest in public health infrastructure, including good health system, uh, with surveillance uh, ca capability to pick up early trouble uh, so that, you know, warnings can be sent and take the appropriate public health measures. Now, we have learned, as I said, you know, uh, people who are in, you know, uh, higher uh, so social ladders do not get infected uh, in, in many of the diseases. So going forward, invest in people invest in communities, invest in social services, including health and education, to empower people to, you know, take care of themselves.